Hello all and welcome back to Pro Second Order 2020 for yet another episode of a Golden TJ, our mini series on the 2014 database where we try to finally, finally get TJ Van Garen his yellow jersey on the Tour de France. Thank you much for the reception of the first episode um, because I recorded first and second before uploading the first episode. Uh, so I now have your feedback and uh, you guys seem to really like it. So uh, yeah, I'm very, very glad about that uh, and without further ado let's jump in into this third episode starting with a stage between Besançon and Oyonna 183 kilometers uh, of hilly stage followed by uh, I believe a mountain one nope I was wrong a, sta a stage sorry between Bourg-en-Bresse and Saint-Etienne a very flat stage and then saint etienne champ to kick off the Alps grenoble Rizoul to continue in the Alps and Talarnim to wrap up the episode, we'll have two sprint stages, one hills, and two mountains. TJ Van Garden is currently second of the classification. Can we get him in yellow by the end of the episode? That for sure is the goal. Come on. Stage number 11, underway. It is a plus one for TJ Van Garden. It's a plus one for Peter Villets. Uh, there'll be the two riders I care the most in this stage. I don't think that Greg has the legs to go and challenge for the win in the peloton. Therefore, we will most likely send him in the breakaway. Breakaway already attempted by the former rider from Cofidis, Jens Kukoler, who's now riding for Orika, or at least in the game, uh, in real life he's riding for EF. Uh, we've got an attack from the former Polkadot jersey in Reto Hollenstein, Jan Barta, the chairman of Czech Republic for NetApp, is going. The Polkadot, Danny Navarro, also in the breakaway. Bilal Kadri, Matthew Heyman going in the break. All right, we've got quite a few riders attacking. We've got Yuki Arashiro on the left. We've got Mat uh, Mikael Lerat, sorry. Mikael Scher, he's our rider, so he ain't attacking. <laughs> uh, let's have a Greg, let's go. Greg van Amat in the break. Simon Yates follows. Wow. Now, to today's standards, that would be quite good. Um, but interesting, interesting. No one uh, seems to be against Greg van der Matt in the break. Uh, so, I mean, I can't really complain now, can I? All right, we've got the intimate sprint coming up in Marini. Two kilometers until uh, we reach it. Greg should be able to get the points. I don't think anyone here will uh, defy me. Uh, we've got the rest of Jens Void that joined the breakaway later on with Fabien Guillou. Anyone else maybe that I haven't seen? Adrien Petit, Cédric Pinot, and Michael Bazzani. Oh, interesting. Interesting. Al Bazzani in the break. That's quite, quite nice. Uh, Points-wise, we're now 44 points clear of Mark Haven. Good. All right, Greg got dropped. Um, well, I mean, didn't get dropped. I could have stayed with the breakaway, but I decided against it uh, because the peloton is clawing his gap back on us. Um, they just don't want to uh, let a breakaway go, which is understandable. And uh, I figured my, uh, my position would be better off in the peloton rather than in a breakaway where I would spend too much energy. So the green jersey is now well and truly back in the 181 men peloton. Sadly, Greg did manage to uh, make the cut at the Col de la Croix de Serra, but uh, I'm not too far behind. I'm not too far behind. Uh, maybe with, uh, with, with some help, he could be able to make his comeback. Uh, at, at least that's what I'd love to see. Uh, also, I'm guessing maybe Pete Sagan got dropped because I'm seeing a lot of riders from Cannondale trying to pace. Uh, I saw the likes of Viviani. Is that Roman Bardet? Roman Bardet has been dropped as well. Uh, but okay, in true Roman Bardet uh, fashion, he's quite far down in DC. All right, Greg is back in the first group. He's lacking energy, but I believe in the man. I believe the man can do something. Uh, we do have a breakaway though with two riders, Daniel Varro being one of them, and Simon Yates being the other. Okay, 104 men peloton here, trying to uh, come back on the two breakaway. Final climb of the day, Col du Sentier. Lars eating back is pacing. That is not something I expected. And he's decided to block Greg van Avermaet. That is a dick move from you, Mr. Lars eating back. Maxime Iglinski, the winner of the Amstel, I think. Or was it Liège? Or which was it none of them? It was the year Gasparotto won. I think, did Iglinski win yet by Or am I completely, like, mental? I can't remember. Uh, Greg is struggling to stay in this group. And uh, I have a more pressing matter in the fact that there is a GC uh, on the cards here. So I don't really want to get dropped. My, uh, my main aim, obviously, is the general classification. Sadly, not the green jersey of Greg from my mat, who just got dropped. Now, can I do something in this descent? No. Let's pace with Mikel Scher. Let's forget about Valamat. I know Pete Sagan is there. If I could avoid Pete Sagan winning, that would be rather, rather sumptuous. 
It it really would. It really would. Uh, is that Garen Thomas? It is. Decent stats for uh, for Garen, whose best stat is Cobbles. That's the first. Uh, right. General of Velitz. Mikael Scher. Uh, can take the of the uh, I guess. Why not? Let's use the gels on everyone. Let's increase the rhythm of Peter Velitz. Actually, let's swap Van Garderen and, and Mikael Scher because that's one of the worst ideas I've had in my entire life. 1.8k. Valverde has started his effort already. I swear to God, if Valverde wins today, I'm going to be extremely pissed. Johnny Zagere, Valverde, it's a 1 2 for movie star for fuck's sake, man. Valverde wins and get 10 seconds. His lead is now 24. Over to Van Garderen, who comes home in, fact, in fifth position today. And Pete Sagan gets third. Wow. Really a bad stage for me. Quite a good day for the team overall. Minus two for Danielos, which is a shame considering he's my lead out, man. But a plus three for TJ. For once, he's actually having a good day. Thank God. I feel like he, he might start to believe in his chances of bringing the green in Paris. Because I felt like from like the, stage, the first stage onwards, uh, I backed him more than he backed himself. And that's never a good thing, right? You, you got to trust yourself. So, plus three. Can't complain. Uh, a lot of riders attacking. Who do we have? We've got Sebastian Langevelt. Bye bye, little Sebastian. I'm saying this because in the breakaway, uh, he, he ain't dead. He, but, Tarame Langevelt in the break. Brilliant. The, the fact that I'm literally listening to little Sebastian right now, which is a Parks and Rex reference, makes this even funnier. Like, genuinely, I find it jokes. Bye bye, Leo Sebastian. Bye bye. Crash in the peloton involving Danny Von Poppel. Uh, he is back on his bike though, but the sprinter of Trexigo Fredo is down. He's going to be held by uh, Grigori Rast and Markel Irizar to try and come back. But with the intermediate sprint uh, shortly coming up, uh, I'm quite skeptical on uh, his chances of, uh, of coming back. Or if he does, he may have uh, used some crucial, crucial energy which he could have uh, spent in the final of, uh, of this stage. We'll take the will of Mark Cavendish for the IS. Try to cover the, uh, the Brit, the Manx Express, or the Manx Missile. I have no idea what his nickname is uh, across the pond. Let's uh, increase the rhythm of Greg. Actually, I'm not taking the wheel of Cavendish because he's in a shit position. Actually, I am taking his wheel, right? Forget what I just said. I'm a very um, uh, ambiguous... Not ambiguous. Uh, I, I can do a... Thing and say the other thing. Why, well, hey, honestly, it don't matter because sprint and we've been beaten by Cal. 229.187. He's taken nine points, I've taken seven. So, after some quick mathematics, I've come to the conclusion that Mark Cavendish did, did, did indeed beat me in the sprint. And the breakaway of five is soldiering on. 29 kilometers left, they still have a minute on the peloton. Uh, I do expect them to be co somewhat soon, but um, there is quite a long descent, or a long descent, there is about 10 kilometers of downhill portion coming up, and we all know that the gaps aren't usually, um, well, getting uh, smaller when it comes to a, to a descent on PCM. So I'm quite um, skeptical on our chances of winning today, which is why I'm going to stop pacing, there's a gap here. Hello. Wagwan, what's happening there then? How did y'all get dropped? Christophe dropped, that's good for me. Brian Kokar, okay. Are, going, are they going to bridge the gap? I, I would expect them to do so. But, I mean, we've started pacing, so we might as well just carry on until the end. Uh, and some of the riders in the main uh, break have managed to uh, come back. Some haven't. No breakaway anymore. 13 kilometers remaining. And we came back on uh, Sebastian Langeveld, who was the last man standing. He took a running leap and he learned to fly. Uh, but sadly, he didn't fly enough. He, he just, yeah, he just came back in the peloton. Um, he will be most likely helping whoever's Garmin sprinter uh, was that year. Did they have a sprinter? Mm. Is Ramunas their best sprinter? I think, uh, yeah, Ramunas Nevarovskas is their best shout. Yeah, that's a bit sad. Um, who could I help for my train? I could have uh, Mikael Scher. You know what? I'll do. I'll do. For my train, let's get on. 5k to go. Let's use the gels with everyone. All right, come on, lad. Uh, it's oh, it's a slightly uphill. Interesting. Interesting. I hadn't seen that. Uh, is there any wind? Ooh, one. Let's go. That's a. That's like a strong wind. 
Who's that? That's a train for Marcel Kitzel and John Ning Ekoe. John Ning Ekoe, you've launched with 2k to go. Ain't that a bit, um... I mean, I was gonna say early, but no, because he's winning. Uh, and he might win. Unless, unless, Mark... Oh, no, oh, no, Kittle, you've done it again, haven't I? I swear to God, if he's raised his hand, then he's gonna lose. Oh, actually, he win. He won, wow. Okay, surprising, he won. Big ups, Marcel Kittel. We come in fifth place. Um, it's not bad. I mean, we do have 74 in sprint, so I guess it's not bad. Um, also, I've upped the difficulty from the previous episode, so that might have helped a bit. Uh, but yeah, fifth place with Greg Fanama. Is that back to back fifth? Did I get fifth in the free stage? I have no, no recollection. I did. All right, hopefully, we can change that in the coming stage. All right, so zero for TJ. Hopefully we can work with that. Uh, it's a long climb, 19 kilometers, a max of 13, an average of 7. We're going to struggle. Uh, but, I mean, that's, that's what I signed for, right? I've taken GMC and TJ Vanguard, and not because I knew it was going to be an easy stroll, right? Because I knew I was in for the battle in the trenches. We're out here. The good thing is my supporting cast today is having a very decent day. Velitz plus 2, Stettina 0. Probably not the best argument here. Atta Puma plus one, Moanar plus one. I can count on my team in the mountain. I just need to be able to count on TJ Mongardwin, which is the main crucial thing. And we've started the second uh, categorized climb of the day, the Col de Palakit. First cat, um, an average of 6%. However, there is a downhill portion for about three kilometers. I mean, it's flat then downhill for quite a quite a bit so um, i think it affects the the difficulty it's at 14 kilometers i said the uh margarine being 13.5 and it is already now uh because i saw 13.8 clearly the stats are wrong uh but it's fine it's fine we've got a 28 men breakaway at the front involving the world champion rui costa uh we also have Pierre roland uh is there any uh big names i'm seeing thomas vauclair um is that yuri trofimov Sylvain Chavanel, they'd win on the Tour de France. Uh, Ryan Taramay, who was in the breakaway yesterday. Danny Navarro, Javier Acevedo. Uh, another Sebastian, come on. All right, bye-bye. I'll say bye-bye when he gets dropped. So if he wins the stage, I'm a bit pissed. I'm not going to lie. Uh, also, let's increase the rhythm of all my team because they are getting uh, dropped, and I uh, don't like that. Wait, 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 wait. Hold up, hey. Wait, now that's his... Oh, my God. Oh my god! Here or not? No, no, wait, 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 I, 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 I'm gonna need a recollection here. Oh Jesus. Oh no, a movie star. Oh the L. Oh the L for movie star. Loli star. Alejandro Lodverde. Giovanni Visconti. Oh no. I was confused because I saw a crash, but in. It said David Lopez Garcia and Giovanni Visconti. It didn't mention anything about the yellow jersey, Alejandro Valverde, who is out of the Tour de France. Do you all understand? Darwin Atapuma, I swear to God, I asked you to get water. If you don't get water, I, I will get physically angry with you. I don't know how that would apply to, to PCM because it's a video game and I, I'm confused, but... Oh my God. Darwin, man, please. Can the theory of gravity? I swear it's not. It's not him that did gravity. Darwin, if you don't manage to get water, you clearly are. I mean, saying everything incorrect within your theory of natural selection. You get dropped. That is natural selection, right? Because you're a moron. You clearly have the legs to be better. You didn't even get water, you prick. Get hydrated. Fuck's sake. Uh, I'm gonna make sure that Vilis doesn't get dropped. I'm very much baffled by the current situation and the fact that TJ Van Garderen right now is the acting yellow jersey as he leads the Tour de France by 50 seconds ahead of Vincent Sonibeli and a minute and 10 seconds ahead of Christopher Froome from Team Sky. I expected this to be a race where I had to have to attack. Uh, turns out I'm gonna need to defend, which is in a sense, better. Much better. Okay. Well, that race took a, a very interesting turn very early on here. Attacks. Attacks. Burrito's gone. 
Perito is gone. Uh, I think someone else is gone. That's uh, Tiopino, yes. Yeah. Uh, so Tibo. And I mean, he's to Chris Horner. Okay. It's fine. It's fine, right? We can just increase our rhythm and get blocked by Jeremy Roy. Good. Good start. Good start. Very good start. All right, we'll come back. Uh, we've lost a lot of energy trying to come back. Shit. Okay. Do you have anyone that's act? I mean, Thibaut is trying to go in the break, but let's be honest, I don't really care about Thibaut. At least not now. I mean, he's nine minutes down. Vincenzo, anybody's gone. For fuck's sake, Vincenzo, man. Squalo, wait a bit. We're going to lose a lot of time today. We're going to lose quite a lot of time. Let's already put a marker between, um, between TJ and Vincenzo, anybody. If only I had been bad, better positioned. I got really, like, surprised by uh, the, the, the Valverde news, and, uh, yeah. There's still 10k to go, and I'm already out of energy. That's not good. Consolos has gone again. Uh, I can't really follow. Alright. Is that Leopold Koenig? That's Thiago Machado. Interesting. Who's in the lead? Uh, Romain Bardet is in the lead. Then Vauclair, Trofimov, Rui Costa. Right, let's go back to the peloton. I don't want to spend too much time not looking at the main group. A group of 21 riders in which TJ Van Garderen is still well and truly a part of it. Michele Scarponi is trying to, uh, well, is getting dropped and therefore blocking me a bit. Okay, let's try to recover a tad of energy. If I can get some energy going with TJ, that'd be great. I'm not asking for a lot. I just need just a tad. Just a tad. 5k to go. TJ, you beautiful bastard. You're doing it. You're doing it. All right, come on. Come on, come on. This is a very tactical race right now. The fact that there's two riders from NetApp is really shocking. And quite curious. But mainly shocking. Simon Spilak still leading the way. Contador in second place. Alright, let's recover again. The more yellow I can get, the better. 3.4k. I have no idea what the energy um, is on, uh, on them lot. I don't know if they're good. Uh, I mean, they've been recovering for like five kilometers, so I'd suggest they're probably a bit better than mine. Also, Romain Bardet is going to win in Chanrousse, and that's very good. Very good for him. All right, uh, let's use the gel. And let's try to accelerate just a bit. Just a bit. Just put, put the pressure down. Just a tad to see what happens. Win for Romain Bardet, as I've mentioned. But the main crucial point here isn't the win, it's the peloton. We'll see what happens as I think Daniel Varro got dropped. I can't remember if he's, uh, if he's actually the Polka jersey anymore. Let's increase our rhythm. Contador, Froome, Van Garderen will all finish in the same time, which is great. Okay. I don't think I got dropped by anyone. We end up in 8th place, which is not too bad. Chris Horner got 7th. Wowzers. Okay. Nibali, 11th. I think considering how the stage has gone uh, in the final climb, it could have been much, much worse today. But let's not forget that Alejandro Valverde, acting yellow jersey, has withdrawn from the Tour de France. I mean, it's big. It's a big, big news. Very dominant performance today by the leader of Ajaccio de la Mondiale as he takes the win in Champs ahead of Thomas Vauclair and the world champion, Rui Costa. The main peloton ends up 3 minutes and 7 seconds behind Romain Bardet with the new yellow jersey of the 2014 Tour de France with a gap of 49 seconds on Vincent Sonibeli from America, USA, TJ Van Garderen. Come on, son, let's go. All right, we just need to defend now. We just need to defend for seven days, right? In the words of Craig David, shouldn't be too hard. Thomas Vauclair is the new Polka jersey ahead of Danny Navarro. Congratulations, Thomas. Greg van Amat is still in green. Congratulations, Greg. Romain Bardet is now in white. Congratulations, Romain. Astana is the best team. I don't know if that changed. So, congrats. I cannot believe it. I cannot believe it. Alejandro Valverde has withdrawn from the race. This It's just unfathomable. It appears that the PCM gods are well and truly with me in the quest of TJ in yellow, or golden TJ, to make a bit more bling bling. Ah, uh, well, man. Well, man. All right, up next, Grenoble, Rizul. Let's try to uh, avoid the yellow jersey curse and not withdraw. Wow, compared to yesterday, it's a much better day for TJ Van Garderen. Plus three for the new yellow jersey. Let's attack already with Greg van Vermaat. 
I want to get the points in Bourdoisan. Uh, I ensure I'll be able to get them um, or to beat the likes of Cavendish in the main sprint in the next stage. So the more points I can get today, the better. Um, I mean, uh, yeah, I ain't winning the stage, let's be realistic. At least not, uh, not with Greg Van Vorm Vorm that's for sure. Uh, but I can say, as I said, get the points, that'd be perfect. Matthias Frank has joined us with David de la Cruz, Thomas Vauclair, and Tom Dumoulin. Uh, Christ Wait, no. Christophe Riblon has attacked as well as uh, Lorenz Stendam, is it? Yeah, it was Lorenz Stendam. Bart de Klerk, the former Pink Jersey on the Giro, is gone as well. With Jan Bakelans, Dries de Venance, Bartosz Uzarski, and Steph Clement. Uh, ooh. Ooh, ooh. Jay. I thought I, I, it has to be like a double, uh, a double name name. Like a, a, a double first name. Oh, yeah, good. He's been co opted, so I don't have to think about it. Jens Voigt has attacked. Immanuel Arvitsi, Daniel Ovis. Nope, Marcel Witz. Danny Navarro, Andy Schleck, Rui Costa, Peña Tinchauste, Eric Garza, no, Egoit Garza Cortina, Yuki Rashiro, Simon Garrens, are you good? How many riders are going to attack? We've got a Karen attacking, we've got Rudy Mollard, Frank Schleck, Zweintuff, Tony Martin, not Peter Vedit, uh, not Amel Monard, definitely not Daniel Os, but Darwin Atapuma, yes, because Pierre Roland has also attacked. How many riders do you want in the break? Genuinely. How many? And it's going to be an added 20 points for Greg van Avermaet here in Bourdoisan. Perfect. What is now the gap with Mark Kevinich? I'm quite curious to see. Uh, 48 points again. Okay, perfect. So I can afford a, a little misstep here and there on uh, like one or two mass sprints. I don't remember how many mass sprints there are actually uh, on, on this race remaining. Let's take a look. Uh, so we've got yesterday. Oh, no, we've got <laughs> tomorrow. Good. Uh, okay, we've got three. St okay, three stages. 50 is not a lot. It's not a massive gap. But it's better than nothing. And I'm happier it's in my favor than it is in Mark Cavendish. Wait, hey, oh, no, 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 no. TJ, 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 TJ. Come on, babe. Come on. Yes, my guy. All right, he's back in the peloton. Uh, little incident for TJ. Hopefully, that's the yellow, the yellow jersey curse now done. Right, it's been a bit more uh, nice to TJ than it was for um for Valverde. But then again, maybe the curse has been on TJ van Garderen for about a decade. So it's finally switching the tide around or turning the tide. The tide. I think that's. I don't, I don't actually know the expression. I know it's something about tides. Um, breakaway Famit in the lead. Uh, iron pacing with Greg Panama, obviously. And TJ will make his uh, comeback at the very, very front of the group as uh, we've started the Col du Lotare. Do we... No, we don't go on the Galibier today. No, we don't. Okay, we'll stop uh, just at the midway point of the Galibier then uh, on the Col du Lotare and we'll then head for the Col de l'Isoire. Okay, interesting parkour today. With the Lotare... Now, behind us, we'll soon begin the Col d'Isoire. It feels like we're doing a bucket list for a madman who enjoys the Alps a bit too much. Um, but we've got a 64-man peloton with TJ Van Garderen still with entry there, protected by, uh, Ar by Darwin Atapuma, sorry. And we have three riders around uh, TJ in order to uh, protect his beautiful, beautiful little yellow jersey. I mean, look at it. Look at it. It is splendid. It is ravishing. It is absolutely magnificent. Magnificent. Uh, beautiful. Uh, do you have fam? How the fuck do you say beautiful in German already? Is, is there even a word in German that says beautiful? Uh, <laughs> sad. I mean, it shouldn't. I, honestly, you know what? Forget, forget languages. It happens, right? I've, I sometimes forget French, and that's my native language. All right, we're midway through the uh, Col d'Isoir, a bit more actually than than uh, than halfway through, and we're coming back on the breakaway. Um, surprisingly enough. Greg Van Aert is still there, which is a massive shocker to me. But big ups, big ups, Greg Van Aert. The man is doing bits. TJ is being blocked by Yuri Trofimov, which is a bit of a dick move from the Russian. I, I'm not gonna lie. I, I, I thought we'd be bros because like I did Europe Car and B-Box career modes back in the days. Um, oh, is that is that Perito attacking? It is. Where is he? Four thirty-five. I kind of have to at least consider the possibility that this man might be a threat. Well, turns out 
Greg von Mamate ist die Only Rada left in my team. <lacht> Come on. Greg von Mamate is now gonna protect TJ Van Godwin in the end of the Zohar as Roma Bardet is pacing. Is he far? He's 7-12 in the GC. Roma May, honestly, like, why, why bother? Why pacing me off? You're just making me use energy. Energy that I could use later on to try and win. For fuck's sake. Um, wait, that's where. I was gonna swear I still consider attacking. Because he did. Wait, even Chris Froome? I haven't seen Froome. I saw Contador and Nibali. Ah. Ah. I see. On ideal. It really isn't a good time to be a supporter of, uh, of Movie Star because. Wait, are you telling me it's a double retirement here again? Okay, no, just Rafael Valls. Good, Michael Rogers crashed. Uh, okay, actually, Valls didn't retire. But uh, I swear, uh, was it Binyat and Chosti? Yeah, Binyat and Chosti just crashed. Okay. Uh, I'm in a bit of a tough position here, I'm not gonna lie. Because Chris Froome has gone for a solo run, and I didn't plan on that. The good thing is, I can count on Azure Desert trying to, uh, to bring me back. That's like the sole good thing that I can see. Jürgen Vandenbroek, mate. I, 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 I'm not gonna say I love you, because I, I, I don't. Uh, realistically, I, I do not do that, but... Why do you pace so much? Like, please stop, for fuck's sake. And we came back! Brilliant! Love that. I, I was never scared. I did not doubt anything. Trust me. Why did they attack now? I'm, I'm so confused by the actions of this peloton. They attacked in the, the little hill just before, like the false flat portion. Why? It don't make sense. It truly does not make sense. Fucking dumbasses. Alright, uh, well, Roma Bardet once again is the one that broke me on, uh, on the leading group. Roma is doing a very good job for me today. Wow. It's as if he wants me to, like, I don't know, join his team. Or as if he wants him to join my team, I don't, I don't know. Um, but right now, we are struggling energy-wise. Because Chris Froome has been attacking for the past 30 minutes! Please refrain from doing so. I beg you. Oh, Roman died. Oh, Contador died. Oh, Vincenzo. Oh, my Jesus. Okay. Let's make a little move. Just to come back on Chris Froome. Good. Let's not pace. Let's casually wait in the wheels. Because that's what I do best. 40 seconds on Nibali Contador. Have I taken the right decision for once on PC? Madaz. What am I doing recently? I'm trying to, I'm starting to like sometimes play well and well, it feels very weird. It really does. One minute on Nibali Contador. I have taken the right decision. Madaz. Okay. Chris Room has been carrying this group since his attack a few kilometers ago. The main group with Contador Nibali is now one minute 40 down as the Pistolero has attacked in the group behind. I'm making sure that I can stay with Chris Froome or maybe drop him. Who knows? 112, Contador coming back. Just a bit. Perito starting to uh, feel maybe a bit under pressure. We're going to try and overtake Chris Froome. 500 meters to go. Come on, TJ, can you hold on? No, he cannot. It's a win for Chris Froome ahead of TJ Van Garderen. But... Everyone else has been dropped. Perito loses 50 seconds, but the main group, Contador, Finch and Sunibody, are gonna lose one and a half minutes on TJ Van Garderen, who strengthens his leads on everyone. But the White Canyon Chris Room. Jesus. I'm really surprised by this performance. I'm not gonna lie to you. I really am. Chris Room, masterclass today by um by the Brit from Team Sky. Uh, just edging TJ Van Garderen on the line. Viking Rodriguez losing 39 seconds, but Contador, Vincenzo Nibili, and Jürgen Van Rook, 1 minute and 32 seconds, meaning that GC-wise, Chris Froome is the only rider within 2 minutes now. He's 106 down, Vincenzo Nibili 227, Contador 257. Uh, I don't want to jinx anyone here, especially knowing that TJ has had a history of being jinxed, but it seems that the battle is now between TJ Van Garderen and Chris Froome. And I'm absolutely loving it. 629 points for Thomas Vauclair. Come on. Nice. God, I'm a kid. 
And Greg Malavat leads by 48 points with one more stage in this episode. Romain Valet is well and truly in white and he's uh, increased his lead. Or... Wait. Has he? I can't remember. I'll have to check. He has not increased his lead. Therefore, he... I know he increased his lead on Kipkowski because he got absolutely clotted. Uh, but yeah, room one. Oddly enough, I didn't think um, I'd have the legs to first follow Chris and, and then, well, I mean, no, to first attack to join Chris and then follow him. Uh, but I, I did, which was great to see. Uh, and I decided to attack, which is something I'd rarely do. Uh, had I not attacked, I would have lose, lost sorry, the jersey to Chris Freeman. So I'm glad I did. I'm glad I did. I would have lost one and a half minutes with Contour and Nibali. Um, but yeah. I'll take second. I'll take second. Up next, sprint stage between Talar and Nim. We'll wrap up the episode there. Yeah, flat stage. Boring day at the office. Zero for Danielos, plus two for Fernanda We'll try and win. I'll most likely lose. That's so just what I do right now. But as long as I retain both the green and the yellow jersey, I, I can't really complain. IS right, coming up. Uh, I'll try to get it with Mr. Van Avermaet. There we go. Come on, son. You've got this. Uh, it turns out you made... Nah, you don't got this, but it's fine. It, ahead, I'm ahead of Cavendish. 10k to go. In stage number 15, as we approach the outskirts of Nice, we'll soon see uh, the arenas famous in, um, in this southern French town. Uh, let's increase the rhythm with Marcus Bjorgaard. He is lacking water, therefore he doesn't really have the legs to do anything. Uh, we dropped the group. Wowzers. Richie Port is uh, one of the riders that have been dropped. Okay, it's fine. Don't really matter. Uh, let's increase the rhythm with Mikel Scher now. Or at least let's take the relay with Mikel Scher. Let's get all the gels. Perfect. All right. Vidit, Daniel, Oz, Van Amat. We've added Peter Velitz to our train. I felt like we were lacking something and the explosiveness of the uh, Slovakian could potentially be the key to us winning. I, I don't think it is, but... You know. Like, tricks and shit. Uh, let, well, let's go. Right hander coming up. Let's try to take points with Danielos. Comes this right hander. Avoid being blocked, which we have. Wow. Greg van Avermaet starts his effort. Will we win? Probably not. Uh, is it going to be a decent sprint? Could it be third? It is third. Marcel Kittel wins ahead of Henri Greipel. And Greg van Avermaet comes home in third position. I'll, hap I'll happily take that. I will happily take that. Third place with van Avermaet. 74 sprint. Again. Not bad. I've upped the difficulty, so trust me, I'll take everything that comes my way right now. And a finish ahead of Mark Evenich is absolutely perfect. Right, and with this third place, uh, we are going to now have a new... Oh, we've got a new runner-up. Marcel Kittel is now second... In... Oh, sorry, Marcel Kittel is now second when it comes to uh, point classification. He is 44 points? Am I correct? No. 34 points. 34 points. Beyond Greg for that. So things could still change. The gap has been um, closed down a tad as Mark Cavendish uh, is now 63 points behind us. Uh, but comes the end of the episode, we are still in green and mainly we are in yellow following the, um, the crash and the withdrawal of Alejandro Alverde. Realistically, I don't think he would have been able to follow Chris Froome, uh, Perito and myself. But, I mean, we can change the world with an if. So... It's just a what if people would have to answer in, in a video in like three years. Like, what if Valverde hadn't crashed in the uh, downhill of the Zohar? I don't know. I don't know. But for now, let's savor the fact that TJ Van Garderen is five stages away from bringing the yellow in Paris. There is one more episode of Golden TJ coming your way in a couple of days. I hope you guys will be there to watch it. Make sure to do so. Then please, please do subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. It would be huge if you would do said thing. Also, leave a like on the video if you've enjoyed it. To just show some support for TJ Van Garderen. And I'll see you in the very next episode of Golden TJ. Have a great one. My name has been Blackwell. And goodbye. Pull up, pull up in the gold I'm leading. But them all the money feeding. I don't want to go bombay. Them, I don't know what I do when I go from bailing. Leading the pack in black and I'm on with the bag. Snapping with a phone and dab. Boss up a man with a duster. Put him in a drip and sip blockbuster.